We are here with hot developments of the day. Ukraine neutralized four Russian soldiers and destroyed a trench with a single grenade. Don't forget to like the video before moving on to details. One of Ukrainian news pages on Twitter has shared a new video in which neutralization of Russians and destruction of trench is seen. According to the information, 30th Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine conducted that attack on the positions. Over the past day, no Russian assaults are noted in report by Ukrainian military high command. Russians shelled 11 areas of this battlefront. Russian forces shelled Avdiyuka, Pervomayske, Krasnohoryuka, Heraskoryuka, Marinka, Novomikolayuka, Bohyalenevka, Vuhledar, Prestivska, Zolotsanaya, and Velika Novosilka. General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces reported operational information at 6 a.m. on the 11th of February 2022. The Institute for Study of War has pointed out that recent footage of a field Russian assault near Vukhledar, Donetsk Oblast has become the text point of the distress in the Russian information space. Military bloggers latched onto footage to launch several critiques of Russian military leadership. Russian military bloggers claimed that the same Russian commanders who oversaw highly attritional assaults by the 155th Naval Infantry Brigade on Pavlivka near Vukhledar in that the video illustrates that these commanders continue to make the same costly mistakes. On Russians, military bloggers specifically stated that Eastern Grouping of the Forces Commander of Lieutenant General Justam Rado was responsible for Russian tactical failures around Mukhredar. However, ISW analysts believe that the Russian forces use dysfunctional tactics that are far more indicative of the fact that the 155th Marine Brigade is likely composed of poorly trained mobilized personnel than a poor commander. Russian military bloggers likely blamed Russian commanders to deploy the fact that the systematic poor training of Russian mobilized personnel will likely continue to result in a similar tactical failures throughout Ukraine. Russian military bloggers have routinely accused Russian commanders and being responsible for tactical failures throughout the war, likely to shift the overall Russian military failure in Ukraine, Russian military as an institution onto individuals, the ISW suggested. What is your opinion on this issue? You can express your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe for more breaking news.